Hello everyone and thanks for stopping by to Scrap and Craft with Terry. Today we're going to make some faux envelope journal card pockets. And I'm sure you've seen these done before, but I thought it would be something different to do. You know, put in your journal or in your scrapbook or if you wanted to carry some fancy paper in your purse just to make notes on. So all I used was single-sided cardstock and this one is 12 inches, I think it's by 6 inches, 6 inches, so I just actually cut this in half. Now you can make them however long or however wide you want them and then all you do at the top I made a little mark so I knew where my center was. You just fold it into the point like you see on a lot of envelopes. So you make that look like your envelope. And then fold this up. I folded it three times. So I only folded it maybe, you know, three quarters of the way up and then I folded it over. If you're folding them and you're not creasing it, as you're folding them then you can see where your paper will come to because you want this to be able to you know flip open and closed easily so that's all I did and then you fold this down and it has what looks like an envelope or you have what looks like an envelope now all I did on my creases was I just inked them just inked them to make them look fancy. I got a little carried away with my ink right there, but that's, we don't worry about that. Now what I'm going to do on my paper here is just stamp a little flower just to dress it up a little bit, just in the corner. You could put lines on it. You can actually, you know, with your ruler, just draw lines. Or you can leave it blank. You could um, glue lined paper on it. <clears throat> you could also use double-sided paper, so your inside would look fancy also, but only as long as you would be able to journal on it. So, now up here on the top, we're going to glue these folds down. <clears throat> Excuse me, I got a frog in my throat now. And you just want to crease that down. And these would be good also to make um, if you have scrap paper, cutoffs, anything like that. This can be a mass make. Okay. So then all you do is fold it up, put this down. I'm going to close this with Velcro. I have to grab my Velcro because I forgot it. And then after they're done, <clears throat> if you in your your journal or your scrapbook wherever you're going to put it you can glue your three sides down glue it in place and then you have a pocket back here so that's where the pocket comes from now if it's free floating you're not going to have a pocket you would just stick it inside of a pocket completely up to you however you want to use it and like I say you know if you want fancy paper in your purse for notes you could make a bunch of these paper clip them together just open it up make your little notes fold it back up and put it back in your purse and that would be pretty cool too so this would make good good gifts to give somebody if they like to carry you know note stuff in their purse we have Christmas in July coming up. Would be good Christmas ideas. 
make good Christmas presents, even stocking stuffers, anything like that. So let me grab my Velcro real quick. Now, if I would have thought about Christmas in July when I was getting these ready, I would have made one out of Christmas paper also. But that could be for another time. All right, now I just have a few little embellishments to put on it. Love this butterfly. Just thought I would add some stuff just on the front of it. I'm going to have this sticking to me now. After I put my embellishments on, then I'll put my my um, Velcro on. These things are really sticky. So, I'm just going to glue them down. like your flowers or that you could also put them on pop dots if you wanted a little bit of dimension just another fun little project doesn't really take that that long to put them together Longest part of it is just getting everything together. But sometimes that's fun. And this says tickled pink. I thought it was fitting. And I think that's cute. So now we'll just put our Velcro on. <clears throat> and I'll leave it up away from the edge a little bit. I don't want it down too low, so I'll probably put it right around in here. Now, if you don't want to use Velcro, you can just tie um, lace or yarn twine anything around it just to keep it closed I think that's cute and you could also put a little pocket on the back have extra little space and then you fold it open write your note fold it up put it away so that's cute I like that one all right now we're going to do this one and this one is a little bit narrower I think this actually was a piece of scrap just something that was left over make sure I'm in camera view and it's still 12 inches long though And let's see, it's five inches wide. So I did the same thing. I just inked where my folds were. I just folded them up, figured where I wanted it to come to. You have to just make sure you leave a little bit of space up here. And mine is angled a little bit. So something on this paper wasn't cut straight, but when you have it closed, you never know the difference. So it doesn't have to be perfect. And how's everyone doing today? Everyone's doing good. I'm also working on getting stuff together for Christmas in July because I want to do that also. I just, I love Christmas. I'm going to do the same thing on this and I'm just going to do the little flowers. I could have done them in coordinating inks, but 
No, I didn't want to. It's easier just to do one color. And then just fold it back up. And we'll decorate our flap. Now on this one, I just have a couple butter... No, not a couple butterflies. I have a butterfly and a couple flowers. I love the color of this pansy. This one here is kind of long. I almost think I want to cut this part of the leaf off. I don't like the way it's sticking out there. So we'll just cut it off. And no one will ever know the difference. Or I like that better. Okay. So we'll glue on our butterfly. Oh, you know what? I didn't give my little butterfly here any antennas, so we better do that. He might not be able to find his way. There. Just makes him look finished as far as I'm concerned. have a variety of colors on this one. I gotta put him down a little bit more. Because then up here at the top, it's just going to say, and while his little wings will get covered a tiny bit, good things take time. So I'll just go ahead and glue that down. I should have put this down and put his wings on top, but I don't want to tear his wings. So we'll put it clear up to the top. And then let me give him his antennas so we don't forget. So then all of these work the same way. You can glue them down. You can leave them free floating. If um, for your closure, you can also just use a paper clip. Doesn't have to be anything special to hold it closed. So like if you just wanted a paper clip, you could just put it off to the side unless you wanted to cover up your your design and you could just do that and that would hold that would hold it closed again you could put a pocket on the back so we'll just leave that one on there for now now we're going to do this one and this one I think is um, six inches wide yes and it's 12 inches long I just highlighted my lines in blue. You can put your flowers back and forth. You can put more than one. You can do whatever you want. I just thought instead of it being a plain, just a plain um, paper there, that would just add something to it. Again, we're just going to glue this down. So just find where your center is. Make your point. And that's all there is to it. I just did this one about three quarters of the way again. Now let's see. This one says... Spend life happy, and this come out of um, was either a magazine or a sale paper. It was something anyway. 
And I'm going to have this white butterfly on here. And I just kind of highlighted his wings a little bit with blue. Just to make it kind of stand out a little bit. And I'm going to have this over here and this flower here. I got kind of carried away with the, the orange ink on there. I think when I was inking this, I was looking at something. I don't think I should have looked at something. So on the 1st of July, I have a little bit of exciting news for my channel. At least anyways, I think it's exciting. So I hope everyone tunes in to see what that's all about. It's just something, something new that I'm going to be doing and I'm excited about it. Alright, now I'm going to put my Velcro on here. And I'm going to leave it up away from the edge. And there's that one. Again, this is upside down, but it was directional. But you can either decorate over it, you can put a pocket on there. If it's glued down, your three sides, you're not even going to notice it. So... And if you have it in your purse, you're not going to notice that the back of it's upside down. So I thought that one was really pretty. All right, this is our last one. And I like this paper. It's kind of weird. But I like it. I like the color of it. And this one's five inches. I like anything that has a fall color to it. Fall is my favorite um, month. I could do fall year around. And I think it's mainly because of the colors. I have fall color schemes in my house year round. And that's okay because I like that. Okay, so we have that. All right, now this one says, enjoy the little things. And I'm going to put that one down here because there's room between the bottom of my flap and, and that. So then I'll just give it a little bit different look. My two butterflies. And then this daffodil. A while back I was going to use this on something and while I got a little carried away with my orange ink and it didn't look right so I didn't use it. So I thought it went perfect with this paper. So today we're going to use it. Just gonna set that on there. And all of these little pieces I just inked around a little tiny bit. I think the only one I didn't, and I don't know how I forgot it, was this one. I didn't put anything around that one. But I just put a little ink around most of them, just to highlight it a little bit. His little antenna's bent. 
Better put a little dab of glue up there to hold it down. I guess I mainly just chose butterflies for these because I, I like butterflies. Butterflies and flowers. Okay, and there's that one. Now I just um, inked this in orange. And I already did my flowers, so I better put the cap back on my ink. And now I'm just going to put my Velcro on here, and we'll be done with this. So what did you think about the envelopes? I know everybody has seen them before, but it was just another fun little project. And even if you've done them before, sometimes they're fun to do again, and maybe sometimes you just need a little something different. And there you go. So that's my video for today. If you liked my video, I just ask that you give me a thumbs up. Let me know down in the comments. And I hope everyone comes back and sees me again on my next video. And until then, everyone, happy crafting. Bye for now.